Autodesk. I will show you. You have to go to Google. Okay. Google. And type Autodesk. Autodesk free for students. Okay. So students education software. You have to click on this one. Students education software Autodesk. Once you click on this one, it will take you to educational uh, section uh, provided by Autodesk. Okay, so uh, unlock educational access to Autodesk product. Students and educators can get free one year educational access. So all students and educators can get free one year educational access to Autodesk product and service. Renewable as long as you remain eligible. Okay. How to do this one? Step by step, get started. You click on get started. They will ask you to create account if you don't have account. For myself, I have account, but for you, you have to go to create account. Create account. Okay. It will, you will go back here. And this education, okay. And, uh, you know, get started. They, you have educational access, sign in. So they will ask you just to sign in, okay? After you sign in, you will be able to install all these softwares. Inventor Professional, this one. Can you see it here? Inventor, don't use Autodesk Inventor Professional. Don't. Don't go further down because this inventor professional is for CAD. You will find down inventor, another inventor, inventor CAM, inventor for HSML, inventor Nastran, uh, inventor nesting, inventor. This is not, not what we need. Okay, so only, only inventor professional. That's what we need. To so desk inventor professional. Once you click on this software like this okay once you open the software you will have this menu okay this menu uh, the only thing you need in this menu is just here you will find setting configure default template and in the default template just change it to millimeter here and and see. and that's it but you don't need anything because you will start from here. You have a new open project or sample. Let's say new, ah, uh, by the way, here you have tutorials and what's new and like this, if you open tutorial gallery, it will take you to tutorial where you can learn the software. Okay, my tutorial installed like this. Uh, all available. I think they, we need to download them. Yeah, see, this is the tutorial. See, all this tutorial provided by Autodesk for free. Oh, click on new. And you will find here template. If you are here in this area, you will find empty. Because here you have to click on this one, template. And inside this one, you have two options. You have English or metric. What's the difference between them? The difference is the unit. In English, the unit is an in inch. See here, inch, inch. In metric, the unit is in millimeter. OK? So uh, which unit we are going to use? It's based on the drawing and the requirement. Sometimes we will draw something in inch, and sometimes we draw something in millimeter. Okay, if you notice that, if you open, uh, don't worry about mold design and old template. We are not going to use them. Only are going to use English or metric. Okay, English or metric. Type. 
for English or metric, you will find here part single blue. Here you have three blocks and the blue is one of them. And here you have single blue. Can you see it here? What do you mean by this? That this is part and this is assembly. See this part here? You have thumbnail here. You can see it in green. And here you have the green is part of the collection. So it's assembly. So you want to start with part. You want to start with assembly. Or you want to create workshop drawing, like top of view, front of view, right side of view. Or you want to create presentation assembly. Remember, you cannot start with this one, this one, this one, unless you have part. So you have to create part and then make assembly and then make a drawing and then make presentation. OK. With regard to part, you have standard part and sheet metal. If you look to the drawing to see the difference, the sheet metal, it's a thin plate, thin plates. And these tools for making this thin uh, metal is different from the tools that use to make this part. So if we want to use sheet metal, I will tell you, but in our course, we are not going to use sheet metal in this course. We are going to use only standard part millimeter. This is inch and in metric, this is standard part millimeter. Okay. Let's say I want to use metric and I told you to create part and you click on this part and you just click on create. I want just to let you know that uh, here you have the home and here you have the tutorial that we clicked on and you have your first part. Okay, so you cannot lose any window if you open new window. I want to tell you also that this part, see this one being this shape, is what we are going to use similar to this shape in, in our lectures. Like you can start using the tutorial. like this one, like this one. Okay. So once you click on the part one, you'll have this menu. This one here, model browser, it contain origin. If you open, you'll find access. X, Y, you cannot see them because they are in 2D. See here, X, Y. If you want to switch into 3D view, See here the, the block on the right side, you have home. If you click on this home, now you can see top. You click again in home, you can see top, front and right side. You can see down X, Y and Z. And if you go to work plane, you can see uh, Y, Z, X, Z, X, Y. So you can either click on this one and start to sketch or you can right click and the new sketch here. See here, right click, new sketch. It depends on what you need. Do you need to draw this sketch on this view or on the, on the ground or on the front of you? Front, top, right side of you, okay? Um, let's say I want to use the ground. You can also create sketch from here if you don't want to go back here or you don't want to go back here. So once you click on the ground, you will find this icon, you click create sketch. Now the menu in the top has been changed and you will have more 2D uh, elements. So this all 2D that you need to create your first block or your first drawing. As an example, you need to make a rectangle, okay? or you need to make circle. Can you see here in the middle, there is a, a value I can enter. So I can say 50 as an example. The diameter will be 50. 
same as rectangle if you click at any point or here start from origin and do like this you can type as an example 100 and click tab on the keyboard and then click 80 so you will have rectangle new rectangle this one 180 for the rectangle you have many options two point where we did like this and if you want to make a rotational rectangle you can create three points like as an example I have line here and I have line here at angle from here to here let's say 20 okay I want to create rectangle align with this one if I create this one 2d I will not be able to make it with the angle so what I will do, I will create this one, three points. I will click one point here, and other point here. And this is the third point. Can you see? So I created a rectangle that has angle using three points. There is option also for rectangle from the two point and center. You just click on the center, any center, and open, drag with the mouse, you will create either box, cube, square, or rectangle, whatever you want, but start from the center. If you want it to be square, you can type same value. Tap on the keyboard and 50 again. So now you have the same value. Okay. As I told you, here's the line. You can create straight line, or you can create line with angle of course you can type as an example 50 and tab on the keyboard to press the angle 150 okay we have something called spline sometimes we need to create a line it's it can rotate like this So this is called spline. You can control the spline from this point. Spline, another spline, in this case the point are inside the spline, like this one, this point that control the spline is inside the spline, this point is outside the spline, this point, this point is in the spline. Okay, uh, circle as I show you, center point or circle tangent. Like you can come here and click on this line, click on this line, click on this line. You can create circle. See, tangent. You can create ellipse by doing point, go right or vertical or horizontal as you wish, and then open this value, drag the mouse. One more time, here, straight, do like this. Okay, here, straight, you can control. This is ellipse circle. You can create arc, three point tangent center, like this, one point, two point, like this. or tangent, tangent to this line and end here. So here you can find the tangent. See the simple tangent, see, tangent. Or arc center point, let's say this one. Okay, rectangle, you 
can see a uh, slot a slot is like this from here to here let's say 100 and then you can create the slot let's say 30 40 so the distance from here to here is 40 and that length from center to center is 100 this is called slot of course there are several ways to draw slot and there is slot three point arc like this if you have this arc you can say one two three and then open the slot let's say 30. so you can create slot and arc also like this one polygon uh, they ask how many uh, edges you want to create let's say six or five pentagon okay then five and create point and just drop and drag like this let's say seven okay so this is the polygon you can create fillet or chamfer here chamfer and fillet which is you control the edges of the of your part as an example here fill it you choose this edge and let's say i want to increase it to five and you just this edge. can you see here i have five at the corner here fill it chamfer it's it's uh, like 45 degree it's not a fillet it's let's say five also from here to here see it's cut 45 degree cut it's not smooth like fillet this is different between fillet and chamfer you can create text Masalan, my name this value You can rotate if you want to select point. Let's select this. Uh, why it's not selected? Ah, it's it's updated. You can double click, increase the size. You can double click, increase the color, uh, change the color. You can uh, make it more stretch. You can uh, change the font, of course. You can you can do a lot of things. Okay. And the good thing about it, you can later convert it to 3D from Sketch. Type. So we learn point. You can create point sometimes. It need it. You can create point to dimension also. Okay. And see, create. Okay. And here you have a modify command. Project, I will tell you about it later. Here you have modify command. Let's say I want to move, I will click here, I will click on this two, I will choose uh, paste point, this one, and then I will drag them here. Okay, move. Uh, copy the same, but instead it will create copy for you. Like this. Rotate, it can rotate apart using any point that you wish. You can specify an angle like 30, or you can just drag like this one. You select the part, you select. Most of the students, they have problem when they cannot do move, rotate, uh, scale, 
scale, move, rotate, copy, because they don't know after they select this part, they cannot rotate. See, you select the part, and they are asking me, I cannot rotate. All the time, you, there is another selection for center point. As an example, move. When you click create here, like this one, this one is the center. This one will not move now, unless you click on the center and click any center, not necessary center here. Like as an example, this area, I want to catch it from this point. And then you can move it. I select this by mistake. Okay, so move as an example. Let's say from this area. Yes, see? And you can put it here. You can put it here in the middle. You can put it here in the middle. You can put it any place that you want. Okay? But remember, two clicks, not one, like this one, rotate. I click on this one, then select the point that I want to rotate about. And then the shutter asks you, do you want to do this? You said yes, and then you rotate. Okay, you make, okay, again, you have to click the point, and then you can scale up or scale down even, okay? Or you can uh, choose value here. As an example, I want to scale down half. I will click 0.5, it will become half the size. Then I can move it. Okay. Offset is very interesting uh, command. You can create this part as an example and create similar to this with a distance too. Like another wall. See here as an example, I want to make offset inside or outside. Five. Click on offset and click on the profile and then go inside or outside, drag the mouse, and then type the value. If you are inside, you type the value. If you are outside, you type the value. Let's say 12. Note that here you will have dimension, which is 12. If you want to change it, double click and mix it six. So now dimension will be changed. Okay, at any time you want to change your mind, double click and send for this one. You have stretch. A stretch is similar to scale, but it's stretch only part of the geometry, like this one. I want stretch this area from here. Okay to here. I, I made it longer. Stretch offset. Then you have a uh, trim extend split. Uh, usually trim we use it when we have like this methanol lines. See here, trim, I can click this one, I can click here, I can click here, I can click here, automatic, it will remove, or drag like this, move, move the mouse like this, it will make trim, okay, trim, extend, as an example, I have this line, and I want to reach this area, I will just click on extend like this. Once you click, it will be extended. I have this arc, I want it to extend this arc. 
uh, it's extend in natural way as, as an example this arc it will if this extended it will not reach here because this is one segment and this is another line if i extend this arc it will go back again why it will try to co confirm or to try to make a circle because the natural i will show you i will try to extend until it makes circle the natural shape or the basic shape for this one is arc is circle see but if you extend this line it will become line okay i have a question for you do you think if i don't have polygons here let's say i move them from this point here and then i click on this one on this line where was the line this line i want to extend I can extend to this side. Do you think I can extend to that side to the right? Let's say I have line here. Here. I want to extend it up or down. Do you think I, I will be able to do it? See? I can do it because extend it require uh, an edge or point or arc or segment to reach. Like it cannot extend until nowhere see here it extended to a potential of intersection with this line see if you do like this and you do like this here or you create line here okay it's intersection of this point see because it only can extend to a point or to a single to the next step see here again it will extend to this one okay split as an example this circle i can click here and click here click here and click here see the red one now the red one i can delete them because they are split they are not part of the circle but if i didn't do this like i will create circle to show you if i didn't do this and I want to, to delete this part, I click on the keyboard delete, it will delete all the circle, or right click, delete, it will delete all the circle. But in order to be able to control only segment of the circle, I have to split the circle. So split the circle using this icon here, and come here, it will detect immediately in the red. And now I can come here, delete, and come here, delete. Okay. So I talked to you about this one. We have here a rectangular circular mirror. Uh, this will be interest to learn let me create polygon polygon i will put it here which is seven i just if i want to create rectangular okay uh, you need to have uh, line vertical or line horizontal or both of them because rectangular that means it will make array for you quantity and it will need direction so this is the geometry like like this when you create rectangle rectangular you click on the geometry first thing like this again arrow and then direction let's say i want this direction how many quantity you need let's say five what's the distance let's say 100 uh, let's say 300 if you click ok you'll find that you created five the distance between each one of them 300 okay if you come here and say come here at the button there is a way that you can come and right click so then you can create edit button or oh, this one edit button so this is the pattern that you create you created five quantity 
and the distance 300 between each of them. Okay. طيب. Uh, I will do undo. I will create rectangular again. I will choose this one. And this time I will choose the direction up. And I'll create three of them and the distance uh, 400. See it go down. If I flip the direction here, it will go up. Okay. There is a way in rectangular you can choose both directions. Let's say I want vertical and I want horizontal. I want it to be here and here. Okay. In first direction, I want five. In second direction, I want five. The distance, I want 300. The distance, I want 300. You cannot see OK here because you only have one direction. You don't have the other direction. So let's do it again. And you did not select the geometry like this. You have to select the geometry. Now click OK. See? You have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You can come back here and click. We need to edit pattern. Edit pattern. And if you are not satisfying with one of the, uh, this one, I, I don't think it's happened now. But you can do undo and do it again. Like click direction one. You want it down. If you want it up from here, now flip. Okay. And choose the quantity, let's say four and 400. And then go to direction two in this area. Okay. Why it's not click on direction two? Okay. Now I want four and 400. See, it go to the right. If you want it to the left, click here. It will go to the left. Or click here, it will go to the right. If you are happy with it, you can just click like this and you will create your pattern. This called rectangular pattern. If you have shape like this one, let's say you have, as an example, circle here. And you have, uh, example, okay. Polygon here, it's uh, let's say three, uh, five, like this. Okay. And you want to create circular pattern, then you choose the second one, circular. You click on the geometry and click on axis, this is the circle, and you click number five as an example. When you click like this, you will have this shape. Okay, one more time. As an example, I have this one, circular. I click on the shape. You don't need to click on the circle because now we only talk about the geometry that I want to rotate and click on center of revolution. Center of revolution, not this one. I want to rotate around the circle, so this center. Uh, if I choose 5 and 360, it will rotate complete circle. If I choose only 180, it will rotate 5 over 180 degrees, but not 360. If you need to do this, you can do it. Okay. Mirror, you just simple. You have mirror this thing around this line. It will make it on the other side. So you will have this one and this one. You can make mirror the entire thing around this line. It will make it up and down. So that's it, mirror. Uh, There is one, as I said, we can start a new metric, standard part millimeter, create. Choose the work plane. 
choose the origin, start 2D sketch. A rectangle as an example. 30 tab. 20. If you want to create your first 3D, you just click on finish and click on extrude. This is your first 3D model. You just type here the value, distance, maximum 50 or 5 only. And then you will have, click on rotate, and then you will have your first model. See how fast it is to create your 3D model. Come to sketch, start with the sketch, choose the work plane that you need, go to rectangle, choose this area, type 20, tab on the keyboard, 40, finish, extrude, tab 5 on the keyboard. This is your first 3D model. Okay. If you anytime you want to go back to the edit mode to edit the, uh, the base to the sketch, come here to the extrusion. Next to it, there is a sketch underneath. Can you see it here when you open collapse? Right click, code edit sketch. And then you will find the 20 and 40. As an example, you want to make it 40 also. And automatically, the software will update. Go back again, edit sketch. And as an example, add circle here at, at an area. And then add trim and do the necessary trim. Now the profile will become like this. Finish. The software will update. from here to here and I want to create a nice profile I can go to circular pattern I select everything I select the paste point this one and click number six see what I did if I show hide the constraint I create something like this so one more time I go to circular okay I will remove this one in order to for you to see it but what what will happen is i will i will delete these lines i will create a circle here from here to here so you can see what will happen what happened is circular pattern is if i want to only move this one i don't want to move the circle and i put it here in the center of the circle it will rotate thing around circle but you cannot see the circle because there is no circle exist i just draw this one in order to show you if you click four, it will make them four. If you click five, it will make them five. If you click seven, it will make them seven, like this one. Here, I will show the constraint, see, seven. If you don't have this circle, no problem. But sometimes you have part like this. Let's say I have a circle here, and then I have offset slot, like this shape. And I want to duplicate. I will choose this one, this one, this one, this one. I choose the axis and I will make six copies of it. I can do this constraint point on this line. If you go here, you will find the green. That means this is the center of the line. Click here, the circle will move to the line, exactly to the line, by using coincident constraint. There's collinear constraint, like this. If I have line here, and I have line here, I want this line to be on the same line, like this. This one here, same level. It's called collinear constraint. Okay, it's not equal, it's collinear. This one equal, yani, like this. If I create here, this one, let's say 15. I want this one to be 15. I click on equal. 
this one and this one. See, they become 15. The circle. I want this circle to be equal to this one. Okay, equal. Type. Uh, collinear. This one, collinear with this one. See, on the same level. Even if I move this one, this one will be moved together. This is called collinear. Concentric. This is also cool. Let's say I have circle here. They have circle here. Concentric. Put this circle here in the center. Two centers. Parallel. Let's say you have another line like this. And you want this line and this line to be parallel. You go here parallel this line and this line. So they'll be in the same uh, angle. Even if you move it up, down, up, down, but they are in the same angle. They are parallel to each other. Perpendicular and vertical. Let's say you, you are drawing rectangle and by mistake you are doing like this, like this, like this. Then go to horizontal and make it horizontal, make it horizontal, go to vertical, make it vertical and vertical. Then what you have is vertical and horizontal 100%. Okay, good. Uh, this is very critical. Also, there is another use for this vertical and horizontal. Let's say you have circle here and circle here and circle here and circle here. You can go to vertical and say this one and this one, same level, this one and this one on the same level. You can go to horizontal, say this one and this one on the same level, this one and this one on the same level, this one and this one on the same level. You can go to equal and say this one and 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 this one. All of them, I want them to be equal. Okay, so now what happened is I created circles. They are both equal. They are both in the same direction like horizontal or vertical they can move together in easy way by using constraint tangent you can create tangent i want the circuit to be here tangent and the circuit to be tangent also so it become tangent to the big to the line okay a smooth this one for it used here but like in some cases, you can make it smooth. Uh, mirror symmetric is also nice, like this as an example. If you have like this, and, and I think and like this, and you have line here, and you have here something. You can create this one. Symmetric Okay, I will show how to do it in a different way. Let's say I have I have line here in the middle. Okay, now the distance this one is close to this line. This one is far away from this line. Yeah. See this one is close, this one far away. Symmetric, this circle and this circle around the line. Now, if you close this one, if you make this one close, this one also will become close. If you calculate the distance from here to here, it will be 13, let's say it's 15. And then again, calculate the distance from here to here, it will be 15 also. So this is called symmetric. You can do it also for vertical, like this one, this one is close to the line, and this one is far away, so click on this one, symmetric, choose this one and this one, and see the line. So now they will become symmetric in vertical and symmetric in horizontal. You can make equal this line and this line, this line and this line, this line and this line. It's already equal. Okay, so now everything is constrained. 
Let's see, what's the dimension here? 50, let's see. And what's this one? Also because we said equal. So equal vertical fixed constraint. If you want this one to be, let's say you have a circle here, a circle here. I want this circle, I want this circle to move into the center here. Okay. Let's say this circle and this circle. I want the big one to move to the small one. I will choose the first one and I will go here. See, I, I, don't, I don't want this to happen. So it's not based on which one I selected first. I don't know what it's about. So what should I, I do? I will go to fix and I will fix this one. And then I move constraint from here. I already fixed this one. Let me check. Okay. Okay. I fix it. See, it become black. Then I would go here. I say this one move here. See, it's moved. So by by doing this, I am able to control my drawing. And I want just to summarize this uh, introduction today by saying that. When you have in your sketch this purple color, this purple color, that your sketch is not fully defined, not fully constrained. As an example, I can catch it and I move it like this. I can move it here. It's not, see, even the circles, they went out of it. Because this code, it's not fully constrained. So what do you mean by fully constrained, not fully constrained? Okay, I will, I will delete all these. And I'll show you how, see, purple color, and I'll show you how not to have purple color. By having purple color, that means you are doing uh, incorrect. This one is a uh, pattern, so you have to delete pattern first and then delete everything. Okay, how to make the part fully constrained? You have to start from the center or anything related to the center, even if you start here, but at least you have to make dimension Relate this to the center, like this 20, it become black, and then 20. This line become black. Why? That means this one is fixed. It's It has a distance, certain distance, 20, and it has certain distance in horizontal and vertical. Then you can only move this one and this one, but you cannot move this one. Okay? This, in case you don't want to start from the center, you want to start from... 100 distance or 100 distance like this something that uh, that's located here in this area if you don't have any problem starting from the center which i recommend i personally start from the center for all my drawing with i want to start i start from the center okay i like to start from the center Okay, when you start from the center, you can use fixed here or here. So now it's fixed. Uh, show constraint, you can press on show constraint. Remove the fix from the diameter. So the diameter, I can change it, but keep the fix on this one. So I cannot change the distance. I cannot change it, move it like this. This button down, it's called show constraint. If you click on it, or there is a F8, F8 on the keyboard. What we'll do is show you the constraint. Let's say I will show you again what, what's mean. I have circle here, I have circle here. I use a coincident constraint to put this one here and put this one here. Okay, now I don't want this circuit to be here. I want to move it to, to another place. Let's say to this square here at the corner. So if I want to try to move it now, put it here, it will take the circle, the big circle with it. Okay. I can put the circle, big circle fix. Now I want to move it. I cannot move it, why? 
why I cannot put it here? I will tell you the answer. Because it has constraint, that concept, that constraint. And you cannot see it now because you did not press here. If you press here and go to this circle, this point, press on this point, you will find this red one. It's look like this one. See? What it called? Delete. You have to delete it. If you delete the constant constraint, now it turned to purple again, and you can move the center. See? I'm put it here. This is the way we do it. One more time. I am here. I can't see anything. I don't know why this is not moving. Time, delete, and this will be the last uh, overview for today. You can, from here, can you see the center point? This is the center point. You can right click and make it visible so you can see it. This is the center point. Or sometimes you, you highlight on the axis, see here, there is X axis, there is Y axis. Z axis, you cannot see it because you are in 2D, X, Y. So if you go to X axis and right click and make it visible, and go Y axis, right click and make it visible. Now you can see both in X and Y at the same time. So you create a rectangle, let's say 50, tab 50. Still, why the rectangle is not black? Because it's the distance, it's not yet approved. You have to go to coincident constraint. I say this, spot, this point on this one. So now it's defined. Anything in the drawing, anything. Let's say I want to draw something here. Distance, 70, and size. Remember this one. Why it's still, I define the center because in, in Y direction, I did not define the circle. I only define the circle in, in vertical, but in horizontal. How to do this? You have to click coincident and this one on this line. That means it's zero if you don't want to add damage. See, now you cannot tilt it. Or move this 70, move the circle here, and add two dimension from this line, which is the y axis, to the point 25, as an example, and from this line, which is x axis, to the point let's say 60. So now it's in x25 and y60, like, like the coordinate. Okay, now it's defined also. So this is one, one last thing to add, because this is important and I don't want to forget to talk about it, that if you want to draw a line, to use it to define an angle, let's say like this, and you want this line to be 20, and you want the angle from here to here to be 20, okay? You can come to this line and convert it to construction line. Construction line, it will become hidden, and it will not be used when you finish to make extrude here. Okay. If you if you see here edit sketch, if you this line and this line and this line not cons like, like this one visible line, you will have problem later to select. Okay, so all the time we we change this line to construction lines. Construction lines are useful sometimes. As an example, you are asked to draw a polygon like this one three triangle okay let's say i want to draw it let's say i want to delete all these and i want to draw the triangle here and i need to draw uh, i'll make it diamond i will make it fully defined i will add dimension i will check the location 
Okay, I will add also. I will make it equal. It's equal. So probably it's because to the location. It's not in the center. Okay. I will draw a circle and I want the circle to be here. 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 I want this to be equal. And I want the circle to be 20. And I want to put circle in the middle, also here, tangent to this one. Okay. And I, I want to make extrude, but I don't want to pick like this one. See, I don't want the triangle to be appear in the selection. See, I don't want this to happen to me. See, like this one, to be part of the selection. So what I do, I go to edit sketch and I go to triangle and change it to construction and change it again to construction. In this case, when I click here, extrude, it will not be part of the selection anymore. Okay, right click, edit sketch. Here's the, of course, dimensions are, are used to define the locations and the size for the drawing. So dimension, we define location and size. So I covered most of the 2D icon except project geometry because project geometry is something we need when we add two or more sketches. So we project the sketch from old uh, sketch to the new sketch, like tools from old sketch to the new sketch, or when we project access. Like I want this work access to, to be used, I go to click on this axis and click on project. So it will become line, okay? Or choose this Y axis and click project. So it will become not only, it will become line. See, it's a line. You can use it in offset. So that's project geometry. You, you transfer the axis, work axis into lines. Okay, so this is the end of the 2D explanation for Autodesk Inventor. I covered most of the important uh, items in the 2D. Line, circle, arc. Okay, I hope this lecture is important. Thank you for watching.